this is lesson 9 in our channel in this lesson we are discussing accurate gem cutting that means cutting methods all the cutting methods are included here shall we move to the first slide then we are discussing three kinds of methods first one is sri lankan traditional method we have in sri lanka we have our traditional method to gem cutting so that is called hanapur we are discussing next one is another one method is german method it is with machinery german machinery and the japanese method with japanese machine we are discussing separately those still uh, you have not subscribed please subscribe and give like and share to everybody to give this knowledge to the youth the, look at this this is the traditional gem cutting industry hanapurva is the name of this machine somebody is uh, preforming a machine a gemstone look at here this is vertically rotating cutting lap this cutting lap inside this cutting lap in the surface of this cutting lap diamond powder industrial diamond powder is there so diamond is hardness of the diamond is thin and the other all the other gemstones are less than 10 hardness is less than 10 so when we apply in here the stone with the rotating lap the hardness of the gemstone is below 10 therefore it is shaping it is shaped the speed and the friction of the surfaces are doing this so this axis is connected to this uh, screw like uh, wheel in this screw like wheel there was a rope connected to rod with the right hand of this people this man can back and forth move this rod to rotate this screw axis when it is rotating he can control the speed with his hand right hand and when he when it is happening the wheel is rotating with the desired speed high speed or low speed then we can shape the stone and cut the facets so this is the theory in this traditional method in this tray there are a lot of stones gemstones already preformed and created shapes are there some are not but we can do it like this way the polishing also when it is needed to polish the this cutting lap is changed into polishing lap remove the he is removing the cutting lap and replace the polishing copper lap or tin lap after that it is where we can do the polishing we will discuss later the polishing now this is the sewing machine this is the sewing blade. In this blade, industrial diamond powder is there. So, when we send the big stone through this, through this line, it will sew into pieces. This wheel is rotating with high speed. So, this is sewing machine and this is German technology, German gem cutting machine. Cutting lap is rotating horizontally. Earlier in Hanapurva, it is vertically, but here it is horizontally. This is giving water drops to smooth the friction. This is the stone, gemstone here. Gemstone is connected to iron or brass rod and it is connected to this faceter. This is called faceter. This faceter, we can rotate the angles. We will learn later. And this is the axis. 
going up and down to touch the stone to the lap o not touch we can move this up and down it is german method this is japanese method in japanese method the faceta is separately we can move it we can move it outside the machine so there are two this is the machine the faceta is separate we can place the faceta on the faceta table this is called faceta table then after that this is water dropping this is the place this is the axis rotating we can see in the next part look at this machine japanese machine faceta table is here to move up and down this faceta table we can rotate this rod we, there is a screw we can rotate this rod then this table is going up and down to control the gem touching the lap or oh, no this is the lap cutting lap it is rotating horizontally then the diamond uh, diamond powder is there so when we touch the lap this gemstone this is the gemstone this gemstone is shaping and this is the brass or iron rod to connect to the faceter in this faceter there is a wheel 360 degrees rotated wheel is there it is divided into 64 64 divided into 64 to focus 5 to 6 degrees to facets this is the place we can move up and down to set the angles when when this rod comes here it is 90 degrees when it comes here it is 0 degrees so 0 to 90 we can rotate that stone rod to cut with the different angles so this is faceter this is cutting blades or laps made with diamond powder here this tank gives water dropping this is the switch to on off then this is imahashi the maker is imahashi it is japanese method this is very popular in sri lanka this is german machine the faceta is this up and down moving rod is this this is the diamond powder blade so it is rotating horizontally water dropping here then the uh, faceta touch the edge of the stone then it will shape or facet so it is german this this is show in the angle what is the angle we are cutting we can move it from here to here 0 to 9 and adjust the angle here also it is a german faceting machine this also german faceting machine the laps are rotating horizontally faceter angles see the angles here this is the rod we join into the gem brass rods for sticking doping stones we, we we need these rods it is 6 mm diameter to fix with the faceter mouth then edge, edge of the uh, edge of the stick we are uh, we are sticking the stone with heat then after that we will send send it to the faceter and cut cutting blades or laps are here and with the diamond powder uh, this is german faceting machine these are the rods doping rods these allen keys to uh, move some move some uh, adjustments here machine so uh, this is for the doping also doping is another thing it is very we have to accu accurately dop the stone to cut if not cutting errors are happening we are discussing later 
Okay, German faceting machine is this. If you forgot to subscribe yet, please subscribe and share this, giving a like and comment. This is the Japanese machine. This is the rotating wheel. Earlier I told there are 64 separated uh, given angles here. We can rotate the stone 360 degrees with 64 different values, angle values. So this is the method. This is facet table. This is the way we are faceting like this. This gem comes through this faceting. Look at this. This is inside the lapidary. There are a lot of work here. It is mentioned here. This is the Japanese machine. <clears throat> this is German machine. She is faceting the stone with German technology. And here, this person is polishing with the diamond powder. The polish table by rubbing diamond powder mixed with oil from the copper lab. This is copper lab. He is applying the diamond powder mixed with oil in this lab and polishing. This is uh, He is polishing the table of the person, the table of the gym. He is polishing. Then, where gems are cutting is called a lapidary. Now, here it is cabochon. Cabochoning, we need, we don't need the faceter to do the cabochon cutting. Cabochons are done with the fingers, hand control. So, we have to understand the very well understand the shape very well. If not, we can't do this. Look at here. Here, copper lap is there. This is copper lap. This black line is diamond powder applied with, mixed with oil. Then, faceting, the angle faceting is polishing now. After faceting, he is polishing. This is giving the up and down move to this faceter table. Then we can touch the lap. When, the, when this faceter table go down, it is touching the table. When it goes up, it is losing the table. So controlling with this, we can touch this and polish. Polish the facets by rubbing the diamond powder mixed with oil from the copper lap. <clears throat> so this is the way we are doing polishing. When we do polish, we, uh, we have one single thing to remember. We have to check the other hand. This is the right hand of the cutter. The other hand, inside the other hand, there is a loop. 10x triplet loop. To check the facet edges meeting, facet meetings and the polishing. When it is polishing, we have to check it is well polished or no. To, to understand the well polished uh, surface, we can think about the mirror. When we use mirror to reflect the sunlight, we can see mirror is reflecting sunlight. It comes to our eye. It is dangerous. But when we work in lapidary, there is a light source. So we can see the facet, how this facet is uh, reflecting the light to our eye. We are checking that through the loop. Then it should be like a mirror. Like a mirror reflecting light, we have to polish until it gives the mirror quality. Mirror, mirrors reflecting quality. That is the polishing quality. If that polishing quality never meet, the stone will reject by the buyer. So we have to think about the facet meetings, point to point meetings we need without overlapping the facets, point to point meeting with well polished, no faceting marks or nothing. 
well polished facets need all the facets we have to check the polishing level with the loop loop is in the in the other other hand so cutter needs the loop to understand the polishing and the facet meetings after cutting the gem facet meetings and the polishing must be 100% accurate if not that stone is need to recut the buyers will reject it now look at here inside a lapidary people are working there are see this is the rod and dop stick this is dop stick and the gemstone is in the top of the dop stick it is uh, suitable for cutting with the facet somebody here somebody is doing something related to lapidary work all are working with the lapidary work this is inside the lapidary we are joining later in next part in next part it is lesson 10 join us and learn and enrich your future we can see you in the next part please subscribe and like and share okay